Now you're in the, one of the deepest divisions in boxing right now and it's packed with a lot of action fighters, good boxers, everything. And there's so many names that I could throw at you. Who in particular would you want to fight? Other than, other than Ruslan, obviously you want to, you know, possibly Mike Alvarado, somebody that you, a loss you want to re-avenge. Did you feel you lost that fight to begin with? Uh, with Alvarado, I thought it was, you know what, I'll, I'll give a slight edge to him. I mean, he, he did do more damage in the fight, but um, I can really break that fight down. I made him lit, miss a lot, you know, I think the judges had it, uh, I think I would have lost that fight either way. Even if I won more rounds, I think they would have, it was his, it was his promotions. Uh, as you see, the judges gave him all the rounds, gave me for one round. I don't think I would have had a chance of beating that guy. Even if I did, I had uh, more rounds on him. But I think it was a good fight. I think uh, I didn't fight my fight. Uh, got into more of a game plan with that fight. Uh, but I feel my other fights, I will just be myself. And being myself is what got me most of my wins. And I think a, a rematch of Alvarado will be good too. I think I'd fight him totally different in the next fight. Um, but anyone 40, I mean, it doesn't have to be Ruslan. Um, any fight that, that I know would, would, would clash and make good, have a good style with my style, that would make a decent fight. Anybody in the 140. I mean, uh, I just had no, no name in my mind, but uh, whoever anybody talks or anybody would want to see me with, I, I'd take that fight. Now, I wanted to ask you about an article that I read. It said that Goosen had offered you a contract but there's no uh, confirmation or any uh, other sites quoting that thought on one article and I wanted to ask you, is there any truth to that? No, Goosen, uh, no, there was in, no promoters that were going after me. There was nobody. Uh, you know, we were with Thompson for five years. A lot of those promoters uh, were doing business with Thompson and knew I was with Thompson Promotions. Or when we got out, we started making calls to different promoters. We got a hold of Golden Boy too, so that's how I came about. Goosen was never involved. We never got any offers from them. Uh, we just, it was only Golden Boy really. And my old promoters, that maybe they, they didn't believe we were able to get anybody else. And now, who knows, maybe they're not on my side. They probably don't even, uh, they probably think I, stabbed them in the back, but it was business. Anybody would have done what I've done. And then going Golden Boy, what other promoter would I go with? The promoter top ranked this Golden Boy to the top promoter. So it was either one of them. I, I didn't go wrong with it. Now, how did the conference in Puerto Rico go? Uh, the conference in Puerto Rico was, um, it was nice. And Puerto Rico's a beautiful place. First time there? Uh, my first time there. Um, you know, Danny was, um, in the press, you know, his dad, uh, in the old, in the, you know, past fights and past conferences, you know, love to blab his mouth. He didn't do much of that in this uh, in Puerto Rico. Uh, he was more more rooting for the, almost more wanting the people to to uh, begging the people, to, you know, to go for his son to take his son in, because he was saying he was not born in Puerto Rico, but that he Puerto Rican blood, and you know, it was almost like that's what he was more interested in. I mean, he didn't have really much to say about me. Maybe he felt I was uh, nobody. And maybe, maybe that's, their, that's their mindset, you know? Even Danny, I mean, they didn't look at me, they didn't feel threatened, you know, it was almost like it was a joke, but uh, it didn't matter. I mean, he's gonna find out the day of the fight that it's gonna be serious and that he made a mistake. Made a mistake. What are your thoughts about his dad? The way he acts, um, the, the, the past conferences against the fighters, the things he says, the way he says them, the, the, the respect he gives them, or should I say the, the well, no you know, at all or? That's it. I, I see his, uh, I seen stuff on, on him, and stuff he talks, and it makes me laugh. He's a funny guy. I mean, I don't have anything bad. I don't know the guy personally, but I mean, uh, some of the things he says do make me laugh. You know, against other fighters, he's he's pretty funny. But um, he hasn't said anything real big to me. Uh, only thing I guess he, the only thing I know he remember saying was that I fought a Russian, I beat a Mexican, uh, I beat blacks, I beat white, but I never beat a Puerto Rican in Puerto Rico. You know. That's the only thing he said, but nothing, I mean, it doesn't matter what he says, nothing's going to get under my skin. I mean, I'm fighting for world championship, and I'm going to train my hardest, I don't care what he says. Um, if he says something, it'll probably make me laugh more, more than give me mad. You know? Definitely. And do you want to get any media shout-outs uh, to your fans say, to follow you? just want to say the fans follow me on uh, Mauricio Herrera, Facebook, look me up on Twitter, and uh, I'm out of Riverside, so look me up. Definitely. Thanks for an excellent interview, champ. Right, Good thank luck. Thank you.